Welcome to Dobby's Repairs, I'm Dobby the Fixing Elf and this is What's In My Toolbox, the series where I show you the tools I use to repair cars and fix things. So let's find out what's in my toolbox today. Toolbox this week we have this Roud or Reud uh, head gasket tester designed to detect um, CO2 in your cooling system. It's a pretty little handy kit, comes in this box and you get enough to 50 tests so you get the little airlock and your little rubber stopper. Let me put that together for a second. You also get the fluid. And this is your testing fluid. So you pop a little bit of that in here. I'll show you that in just a second. And yeah, we also have a little manual which just tells you how to use it. Quite straightforward really. And yeah, basically the idea of it is you pop this in your head gasket. I'll show you some footage of it actually in action, but basically the idea is you pop this in your head gasket or your, your head gasket, your head of tank so say with some fluid in it and then if it's any CO2 going through your coolant it will bubble up at the header tank and come up here and go through here and the gases will and change the colour of the fluid that's in here so let me show you how you put your fluid in it's really quite simple you just open the bowl and then you tip a small amount in like so carefully try not to split so just enough to cover that little gap up, not much at all, just enough to cover this little uh, dip in the middle here, I'm not sure what to call it. Basically the idea of this is basically the gases will come up and go up here, but they can't, basically no fluid can go around this way, so the airlock, so no air can come down from this way, because it's airlock because of this, so this is the airlock part. The gas will come up and push through here, it's very much like if you're fermenting beer or something like that, and yeah. The gases pass through and then change the colour of this if there's any exhaust gas in it. If there isn't, it doesn't change colour. Both of the cars I tested on this recently to get footage, neither of them had a bad head gasket, so that's quite good. But I did manage to get some footage of it where it changes colour, I'll see that at the end. It works really well, I've diagnosed a few head gases with this, but the cars I tested today to make the footage for this video, neither of them were bad, so that's very good. Yeah, very simple really. So here we're at the head of tank of a car. You can see I'm just opening it up now. I have already got this up to operating temperature, so be careful if you do that. There could be pressure inside here, you just want to burn yourself. So once you take the cap off, you stick your rubber bung in, and that puts that down nice and firm, so it makes a nice tight seal. And then we're going to pop our fluid into our airlock. Again, this is very similar to brewing beer, as I said earlier. Just tip in a small amount in. You have 50 tests out of the bottle, so you get plenty of fluid in there. If you want to overfill it, just that, that's just the right amount. Just that little airlock at the bottom there. And yeah, all we have to do then is pop it onto the bung itself, into the little hole. Again, this is a bit of a funny angle, but it still seals nice and tightly, as you can see. And now we're going to um, start the engine and going to test it for five minutes or so. So as you can see, I've just started the engine now. And coming back around the front to check it. Just let it run for a bit. You can also rub the engine a bit to get a bit more pressure in the cylinder and just make more pressure really to make it test a bit quicker. And I'll just sped this up a bit while we um, go through the test. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward really. Just let it run. I'm giving it some revs now as you can see in the video. And yeah, really quite easy to do. You can see the colour's not changed at all. It's still like a blue. If it changed green or yellow, it means you've got a problem. I've got some footage of it changing colour in the end, but I haven't got it here. Just a moment, you'll see that. And yeah, just keep testing, keep revving the engine. And after about five minutes, the test is complete. There's nothing's changed, and it's nice and blue still. And then yeah, now I'm going to say you're on a different car. So this is on a slightly different car, with a slightly different header bottle design. But again, all you do is pop the bung in. It's very versatile, can do a wide range of vehicles. I haven't met a vehicle with a header tank that hasn't been able to go in yet. And yeah, now we're going to show you the footage of the fluid that's changed colour. So here's the fluid that's changed colour. I had to stick with the exhaust of the car and let the gases go up that way. But as you can see, it goes this colour if you've got a bad head gasket. And yeah, it's nice and simple really. Easy test. So moving on to my final thoughts now, I really do like this, I'm going to give it a 4 spanner rating, it's very helpful, every time I've used it, it's always been 100% accurate, so every time I've used it, I've found a bad head gasket with it, 
or I haven't found a bad head kit and I need to look somewhere else. There's just sometimes you can get gunky water and it's another coming from another source, so luckily with this it works really well. So like I said, I'm going to give it a four spanner rating. And yeah, overall very handy. Really good in it, you can buy replacement fluid. Really good for testing. Cheap enough as well, so definitely a worthwhile addition to any diagnostic toolbox. If you enjoyed this video, why not drop a like? Any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments. I normally drop two videos a week. So if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, you should, and then you'll never miss another video. Do you know anyone else who would enjoy watching this video? Then feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching until the end. Have a sensational day.